Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how we can apply the concept of probability when playing games that involve chances. I will use Ragnarok Online X as an example. Here, you will see my character, a level 60 Night Lord. In this game, if you want to upgrade or craft equipment, you need to gather materials. And gathering these materials involves chances. For this example, I will show you how fishing works in this game. What I want to do here is to catch a Vulcan fish. Vulcan fish is used to smelt Fracon 2, which is used to upgrade my weapon. To catch a Vulcan fish, you need to have a special bait, which is Yo-Yo Tail, to increase your chances of catching one. To show you how fishing works in this game, let's try to catch one. So I will select Yo-Yo Tail as my bait. And let's try to catch a fish. So I was not able to catch a Vulcan fish, that's a water snake. So this is a Vulcan fish. And I caught another Vulcan fish. So that's how fishing works in this game. And notice that not all the time we get a Vulcan fish. Now, let's apply the concept of random variable in this case. Let's try to illustrate this event using random variable x. So let x be a random variable representing the outcome of our fishing. Before we illustrate the random variable, let's identify the sample space. The sample space of the random variable denoted by S is this. We either get a Vulcan fish or other fishes. We don't care much about those other fishes because we just want to catch a Vulcan fish. With this, let's try to illustrate the random variable x. Let's use 0 to represent the outcome that we caught any other fish. Whereas 1 to represent that we caught a Vulcan fish. With this, the space of the random variable, denoted by r of x, is 0 and 1. Now, let's construct a probability mass function for this random variable. p of x is equal to 0 and p of x equal to 1. Unfortunately, the chances of catching a Vulcan fish was not explicitly stated by the developer of the game. So how do we go about it? All we need to do is to catch fishes in this area and record the result. Let's do that one. Actually, I did this already and I already have 460 observations. Let's try to catch 5 fishes and record our results. Let's catch the first one. So the first one is a Vulcan fish, so we will record it as 1. Let's try another attempt. So we didn't caught a Vulcan fish, so that's 0. Let's have another one. So we caught 1. So let's type 1 here. Let's do another attempt. 
we cut another one. So we type one. Let's have our last attempt. And we cut another one. So let's type one here. Ayan. Now, to calculate our chances, all we need to do is we need to count all the ones in this column. Then we divide it by the number of observations we have. Luckily, luckily in Excel, we can count the number of ones by just simply getting the sum of this entire column. Then we divide it by 465. That's the total observations that we have. Based on our calculation, our chance is 0 0.688172 or about 68.82%. This value is only an estimate, but as you collect more and more data, this estimate will be closer and closer to the true value. With that, we can now say that the probability of getting a Vulcan fish denoted by P of X is equal to 1 is 0 0.6882 whereas the probability of not getting a Vulcan fish is about 0 0.3118. That's how we can apply the concept of discrete random variables in playing games. I hope you learned something and have a good day.